Welcome to the 22nd video on beginning CSS. Today we're going to look at the ID attribute and you specify an ID in CSS by using the hash symbol here and we'll get to that in a minute. But first let's open up our HTML document that we've been using to explore all of the CSS concepts. First of all let's give a generic class that we want to use for all of the paragraphs throughout our site and so we're going to go ahead and do that now. So let's open up our CSS. Now what we're going to do is since we're going to have a generic paragraph we're just going to call this paragraph. So it'll no longer be paragraph 3 because we want paragraph 3 to look like all of the rest of the paragraphs in our website. So we're just going to call that paragraph and what we're going to do now is get rid of paragraph 2 because that's going to look like paragraph 3 and whoops I forgot the uh, class selector which of course always is this dot. So this will be p.paragraph and let's go ahead and save this we'll open up our HTML document and there you can see we've got our two paragraphs that we wanted to look the same. Now what happens is this paragraph obviously we want to look different. Remember we put in all this margin space here so this is a unique paragraph that we are using. So in this case we actually don't want to use a generic class selector we want to use the ID attribute and that is what the ID attribute is for. It's for a specific set of CSS code that you want to apply against one specific element. And so you're not applying this to any other elements, it's only going against one element. And so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and come down here. Now you might ask, well we're already doing this with a class selector, so what's the difference? The ID attributes pretty much the same thing. And the answer is they do the same thing. The only difference is this is an aid for you. So that when you're going through your CSS code, you will know when you see those hashtags that this is an individual set of code that applies only to one element. And so it's kind of an aid for you. Think of it like that. It helps you know that, hey, I'm not applying this to any other elements in my website. Whereas this class selector, we're applying this to many different elements. And so what you do is you put in the hashtag first. So let's do that. And then we're going to continue to call this para4 because it is the fourth paragraph. The only thing is let's put um, home page. And the reason you want to put the page here is, is because you could have hundreds of web pages. And so when you come down here, you want to know exactly where this is. So this is very readable. It's in paragraph 4 and it's on the home page. And therefore you'll know where to go to look for it. So we're not done yet though because now we actually have to put the ID attribute in the HTML as well. So let's go over, let's actually save this first and then let's go over to the HTML and we'll go down here and all we're doing now is replacing the class with ID. That's all you do. And then we'll go ahead and put in the new name and there we are. We're using an ID attribute. And as I said, they actually do pretty much the same thing. The only difference is this is for a unique element like I said. So let's go ahead and save this and let's open up our index HTML and as you see there's no difference here right? The only difference now is that when you come into your style sheet and you're reviewing this you'll know oh yeah this is something I'm applying to all of my paragraphs throughout my website and then when you come down to this you'll know oh this is a unique set of CSS code for my paragraph 4 element on my home page and you'll know where to go to find it. Uh, and so yeah you know what we're also going to have paragraph one we're just going to keep that blue text so let's go ahead and uh, make a ID here and we'll say para one home page and actually let's save this and let's go ahead and open up our HTML to update the HTML and we'll put in ID here and we'll put in our new name let's save this and let's open up our document and everything should look the same and it does. And so if we add a new paragraph we will use this format. We will use our class selector because we want all of our paragraphs to look like this. But paragraph 1 and paragraph 4 will use ID attributes because we want these to be unique. Okay that is going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.